In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to make a bale to set this beautiful Swarovski Jet Heart. Um, it allows you then to add it to any piece of jewellery you wish. So let's get going. To follow this demonstration and make this bale, you'll need very limited tools. So I used um, some sort of flat nosed, um, flat nosed plier, which I've got these um, Zuron pliers, and also some wire cutters. And basically, to make the bale um, section of, of this necklace, that is all you're going to need along with your beautiful kit. So, um, let's move over to the next section. Right, to make the bale, you're going to need um, one of the head pins from the kit, which are gold-plated sterling silver, a um, Swarovski jet bicone, and one of the smaller um, rhodochrosotes from the strand. And obviously the beautiful um, Swarovski Jet Heart. Okay, so we're going to take the the heart, uh, and as you can see, the the hole in in that is is quite sizable, um, and it allows you to pop the head pin through, but the ball head pin from the from the head pin sits nicely just there on the outside, and the gold against that black looks absolutely stunning. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to hold that in place I'm going to pop my thumb over there just so that that's not going to move it's not going to come forward so we know where um, where that's going to sit and then I'll just move my hands out of the way for a second what we're going to do is we're going to make an angle in this wire just to, in this head pin um, but we don't want it quite tight up to the the heart we want to leave a little bit of room there so we want a little bit of movement and we want a little bit of room to wrap on the other side okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that angle there so we're just bending that that head pin forward and what that allows then it allows that little bit of movement there but it also when we press that forward you see we've got a bit of space here so that allows us then to wrap around there to secure um, the bale in place okay so now we've done that we've got our front section or back section because it, obviously it's, it's double-sided so you can have either um, you can do it without adding in um, the, these additions if you want to and just have it as a plain bale but what I did is I've added on uh, one of the bicones which sit beautifully just on the top there I've added one of the beautiful uh, natural red crocite which is gorgeous and against that black and the gold looks stunning so then what we're going to do is we're going to turn that round and again hold everything in place and then we need to determine how long we want this bale to be. Obviously, making sure we've got enough left here to wrap around the head pin, the ball um, section of the head pin. Okay, so I'm going to go sort of about that sort of length, maybe a little bit shorter, just about there. And then I'm going to bend that back towards that head pin detail there. Okay, so you see you've got that, that V shape just there right okay so now i'm going to turn that over and now what we need to do is secure this around the the head pin and what you can do is just make that angle a little bit tighter by pressing that down just so it sits nicely against the the detail there right so now if we press that forward you see we've got enough room here between the ball head pin and the Swarovski heart to wrap this this wire if we hadn't have done that, this would have been close to the heart and we wouldn't have had enough room and everything would have been not as, it wouldn't have hung as nicely. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to pop that um, on that side just so it's easier for me to wrap around in, in that direction. So you see I'm holding that, so this head pin is sitting next to the heart and then going to take some pliers and hold the end of that head pin. And wrap around and you see we're starting to wrap around there holding this in place as we do because we don't want this to sort of come out of shape we want to keep that nice nice shape to it so just take your time um, doing this and wrapping it around I'm just going to do a little bit more pop that in wrap it around and overlap it so you can see there it's overlapped just there so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some pliers and I'm going to cut off and actually I've probably 
overdone that slightly so I'm just going to just loosen that off a little bit just so I can see where that actually meets the um, the head pin on the inside so I'm going to cut that off obviously making sure that you only cut um, the one head pin the one end you don't cut the inner section here okay <coughs> excuse me so now you see we've got our Swarovski heart set with the plain bail. So you've got your head pin detail there and your plain bail there. If we turn it over, when it's hanging there, you've got um, your Swarovski and your rhodochrosite. So if I bring in the piece that I made and show you. So now we've got on this side, we've got, um, got our rhodochrosite and our bicone there. And I set the uh, road cross eye and the Swarovski onto beading thread. And I started off with two of the bicones. So you've got like a little trilogy of bicones at the top. Uh, and I think that looks really, really pretty. But then if you turn it over, you can have it as a plain bale if you wish. So you get two different looks uh, from one little simple, simple demonstration. Um, and, and and that's it really. So all I did then is use the rhodochrosite from the largest to the smallest in the graduation from the strand um, to make to make that necklace using beading thread. Um, a really simple technique, um, but a really nice way of setting setting the heart. And obviously this technique could then translate to so if you've got other gemstones with the with the drill hole in the same orientation, you can use that technique um, on those also. So I hope you enjoyed that um, that demonstration and I hope to see you soon. Take care.